Hi, I'm Manjit Rupa and I'm a narcissistic abuse recovery therapist. Today I'm going to talk about stalking. If you're going through this, I feel you. Many years ago, I was terrorised by a guy I went on a date with. He became obsessed and wouldn't go away. I eventually had to get the police involved and it stopped. Unfortunately, not everyone will receive the same outcome and stalking and harassment can go on for years and years. Your stalker will leave no trace behind so the police won't act. Other times it is just negligence by those that should be protecting you. When you break up with a narcissist, it will cause them a narcissist injury. They cannot cope with the shame of you leaving. It will have shattered their ego. So they go on a rampage to destroy you. A narcissist will stalk you through social media, following you, sending you repeated messages, turning up at places you hang out, hacking into your technology devices or even putting a tracker on your phone. They do this when they have lost control over you. You left them and now they have to destroy you. Stalking is done to cripple their victims and to create sheer terror. Stalking starts with the narcissist feeding their overinflated ego, which is often the result of hidden shame. Narcissists can't face anything negative about themselves. They can't take no for an answer. And when you say no or reject them, they feel shame that someone doesn't want to be with them. In order to satisfy their own desires, ego and inflated sense of self, they have to have you back. They have messy boundaries so they will stop at nothing. This is why you saying no means nothing. You having a boundary means nothing. And you walking away is nothing. A narcissist doesn't care about what they've done to you, whether you are scared or hurt. Sometimes your painful emotions will turn them on. They want to make you respond to them and they will do anything to get your attention. This type of stalking is dangerous and could become deadly. Sadly for some, this type of stalking never stops and can go on for decades. It is twisted and sickening. You are likely dealing with a psychopath in this instant. Just because in my case the stalking ended doesn't mean to say everyone gets the same outcome. It just depends on who is dealing with your case. If you report it to the police and whether they have the knowledge to deal with these types of cases. I urge you to keep on reporting it to the police. Get extra surveillance in your home like cameras and an alarm. If you can get a restraining order, get one. Please report this to the police. A person who displays these kind of sadistic traits is someone that you never want to play with. Please be safe and look after your mental well-being because I only know too well what a toll this can take on a person. If you would like to know more about what I do, visit my website. The details are below. You might also want to get a copy of my book, Survival Guide for Toxic Narcissistic Relationships on Amazon. Don't forget to like and share my video. If you have any questions, stick them in the comments box. Thank you for watching.